got five days for Futaba to get okay. about for a nap. And uh, this is a warning, not sure how long I'll be able to do this because I have to go grab a car anytime between like noon and late, so we'll see. Futaba is still sleeping. Hang out uh, well. with Makoto. <sighs> I think there's gonna do some hacking. Actually...
Thank you very much. See what she's gonna show us. Good evening. That's one, one way to make it work. Oh, second. Oh, 
more days. <sighs> if you could just wake up, that would be great. Uh, say what up. Come on. <sighs> okay. All right, which one? in a while. That's what you're choosing. You better not use it to pull a prank. No pranking for us. Hmm, that one don't break it, okay? Use it to pull a prank. Hmm, how's that? 
That's why you can't break it, okay? There we go. Okay. Alright, which one? Use it to pull a prank. Okay, so your party has a plus one of four. That's not bad. That's what you're choosing? Don't break it, okay? Please hear me out. It's enigmatic. Yes. Indeed. Tell the truth. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh, I have to be his date. To the art show. Rain, huh? Did 
do it now we can. Where have you been? Been searching all along. Confacing twilight no one. It sounds like everyone's starting to get anxious. But considering how fast the days are closing in, the best thing we can do for now is stay calm. The real question to be asked, where have I been? I'm a chef chef too. Hey, hey! I boost my screen. Have the money. Oh, hi. Where have you been? Hey, searching all along. You're facing twilight. Then I'll head over. We have your room and wait for without us. Sweets. Thank you for using our service. We got the code out. Such heavy rain. Don't think my bond will deepen yet. For sure. Please head to the exam room.
Let's see if I have money to hang out with the devil. Arcana. Oh, honey. What's this about? He's under age. Ugh. 
their bonuses, just Arcana to get better. Two more days. Take your time. Thank you very much. As long as it's like seven pennies tall, I should be fine. That's incredible. That gift will be a trip to the emergency room. Now then. Say people, the couple looking to my left is not making this any easier. Now then. Oh man. Yep. <laughs> well, well, well. Wanna head back? Look who is now dauntless. Rain, huh? Hey! Sorry, Teach. Mm -hmm. Did you go hang out with the Shady gun dealer. <laughs> Remember at the very beginning of the gun when he gave me a gun bag?
Who the hell are you? Gun enthusiasts. At your age? Mm. Well, I guess you've got the heart of an enthusiast. Me? I just got a gecko tattoo on my neck. <laughs> You're a strange one, kid. Wait a sec. <laughs> yeah, this could work. Hey, I can grant that wish of yours, but you better have the money. These things are worth hundreds of thousands of yen per unit. Sometimes they even reach the millions, depending on how I feel. You're not bluffing, are you, kid? <laughs> may actually make you more useful if you are. Look, I ain't a bad dude. I've been known to compromise from time to time. For example, you help me out with my business. Smuggling goods, destroying evidence. You know, normal business things. And as a reward, I'll introduce you to the special menu with good prices for a punk like you. What do you say? Not bad, huh? That's on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need to know. Gotta fight evil with evil. I need a pawn of my own. Don't talk to no one about this, got it? Just follow my orders. Now what's it gonna be? Do what I can. That's fine. Okay, I'll work on that special menu for you. You should be grateful. You must have had somebody who had access to guns. It seems you had model guns in your possession as well. Their detail goes beyond a simple hobby. I'm sure some people believed those guns were real. You'll tell me how you procured them, won't you? Nah. Spill it! I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. With the birth of the Hanged Man persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Why is that criminal upside down on a cell phone? Oh yeah, when I don't got any business going on, I'll have you do some miscellaneous chores. Clean, run errands, there's plenty for you to do around here. Must be pretty exciting for an enthusiast like you, huh? I am enthusiastic. Hey! Leave it to me. Later. Was it 
Big Bang Burger? Do I even have enough to do another one? I don't think so. Yeah. Drinks are not good. Hey. Mm -hmm. Wanna head back? To agree with Makoto. Who knows how this might turn out? Hey.
Yes, is it? What's gonna happen tomorrow? Game over. Isn't today our deadline for dealing with Medjet? Futaba's still asleep too. This won't be good. Hey. What's up? There's something I came to do. Today's the day Wakaba passed. I do this every year. Here, I've got a cup for you too. Taba reminds me so much of her mother. She's a smart girl. Doesn't just go with the flow, either. Wakaba. Your work and your kid were so fulfilling for you. Why'd you have to die so suddenly? That reminds me. You saw me talking to that prosecutor. And, I mean, that woman in the suit, right? I remember you were real bothered by it. She might come back, so I guess I should tell you about it. That woman was trying to get information on Wakaba's research out of me. That's what we heard in the palace. You don't need to know what the research was about. Just know there was some trouble around it. Obviously, Wakaba got dragged into that as well. Now, they ruled her death as suicide. But I've got my doubts. Doubts? Could she have been killed? Supposedly, there were people who wanted to take her research and use it for their own benefit. Don't get me wrong, though. I don't have a lick of evidence. That's why I haven't told Futaba any of this. I don't want to cause her any more trouble. It sounded like she had suspicions of her own, based on what she said in the palace. Still, there's one thing I regret. It was right before Wakaba died. She told me, I think I might die. I brushed it off, thinking it was just a joke. But if I had just taken her seriously... That's another reason I took Futaba in. Redemption. She went through such horrible things. And those heartless adults just yelled at the poor girl. Hey, how do you heal emotional scars? I don't know. Of course. Uh, sorry. Futaba? just shocked to see you out of the house. Uh, I'm sorry I worried you. 
<laughs> it's all right. By the way, what's the date today? Uh, it's uh, it's the twenty-first. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, that's it. Let's take care of it now. Come. It's my turn to help out. <laughs> Medjed. Now how do we cook them? It's up to you. Roger that. Hey, Futaba. We don't have much time left. Are you sure you could do this? The, the kitty talked? Is this a dream? I'm going back to sleep. It is not a dream! Get up! Say something! She's a talking cat. R right. Now hurry it up! Eh, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's get cracking. You're just tapping away over there. Are you sure this will work? Mm -hmm. Hey, Futaba! I don't think she can hear me. Talk about intense concentration. This place is so messy. I'm surprised she could focus at all. Utaba, you should really clean your room a bit. Huh. She's not listening. Oh well. Just waiting around is boring. Let's clean the place up. a little better now, don't you think? Well, Futaba, we're done on our end. Are you finished yet? <laughs> she can't hear a word I'm saying. <sighs> Guess we'll just have to keep waiting. Did you really take care of Medjed? I handled them, and someone else handled my room. I don't understand, but this is good. Futaba? Hey, Futaba, what's wrong? <sighs> She's sleeping. Well, it looks like it's been taken care of. I guess we should get home and sleep too. She's got like an uptime of like 5% being up 4 hours or 8 hours every 30 days. back asleep. We should be in the clear now, right? Been searching all along. We shall see. Facing twilight alone.
Make sure you close up. What else? I don't know which one of these books to read. Y yeah. They lost. How could this happen? What's up? So you're finally up, huh? Don't slack off just because you're on summer vacation. Yo, you look tired. We've made ourselves at home. Late last night, it was discovered that someone has tampered with the hacker group Medjid's website. The site's main page now displays what is thought to be the mark belonging to the Phantom Thieves. More so, the personal information of a Japanese man, a possible Medjid member, was illegally publicized. Aren't these the guys people have been up in arms about? Medjid has yet to issue an official reply. Furthermore, their previously announced cleanse of Japan has remained unimplemented for now. Some speculate that they have taken this series of events seriously and ultimately canceled their plan. Yeah. Yes. Mm. What are you all smirking about? Well, stop it. You're gonna drive away all my customers. No one comes into this coffee shop After the commercial happy. break, we will be asking guests from various fields about this turn of events. But there ain't any customers. Can it? My customers are on summer vacation too. Oh crap, I just realized our break's almost over. There are still 10 days left. Go somewhere, but we can't just leave Futabachan alone. Some things still concern me too, like that research. Oh, did you just get up? Good morning. <gasps> it seems she's cautious of us. Why don't we go upstairs? If any customers come, she'll be even more afraid. Why don't you go with them, Futaba? Have fun. It's about time my regulars show up anyway, so I don't want you guys loitering around my store. The fact that there were no damages due to the hackers' actions is but an afterthought. The issue I want to make clear is the attitude of the police, and more importantly, the government. <sighs> what do you mean? Are they doing their best to find an effective countermeasure against these phantom thieves? Is it not the government's duty to create a society where its citizens can live without worry? Unfortunately, the current cabinet is powerless. As such, they should be disbanded. I believe now is the time for me to risk my political career in hope of making a new reality. A new political system that goes beyond parties or factions. An ideal country of peace and order. This politician seems quite promising. I have to agree. I hope he can work to ease the anxieties of the elderly. What do you think, boss? Hmm? Oh, sorry. Uh, I wasn't listening.
So the Phantom Thieves only stole the heart of Futaba Sakura? Yep. And Mejid was in turn defeated by her real-world hacking abilities? This does correlate to the facts as we know them. If he's telling the truth, then Wakaba Ishiki didn't commit suicide. Did a third party target her life with the goal of destroying her research? Wakaba's death was two years ago. That also coincides with when the incident started occurring. Does this other metaverse user that Madarame and Kaneshiro mentioned really exist? Earlier, I briefly mentioned about those psychotic breakdown incidents that have alarmed the public. All of a sudden, people will lose consciousness or become violent. A situation as incomprehensible as that can't be explained away as troubled social conditions. I suspect that these cases are all connected to a larger, man-made plot. The method involved always muddled the explication, but your story has virtually confirmed its viability. Although I wouldn't have expected a new criminal to come to light from your testimony. What did your group think of this other Metaverse user? The true criminal. How self-centered of you. The Phantom Thieves tamper with people's hearts without asking consent. How is that different? <laughs> well, no matter how you thought of them, there can be no doubting your resolve. Are those incidents because of you or someone else? Either way, I will get to the bottom of this. Let's move on to your next crime. Ooh. Kunikazu Okumura. You should know who he is, considering what happened. Your testimony regarding this incident will be serious. I'm sure you understand why. Answer my next question carefully. What did you do to this Okumura? Uh, I'll get back to you in a few weeks. To think, the cognitive version of a person would transform into such a horrible monster and attack us. That means our enemies aren't limited to shadows. I thought the other people were just victims. Like the slaves at the castle, or the walking ATMs. Even though they seem to be alive, they're only part of the backdrop. The environment. In other words, the palace ruler determines the form and strength of their cognitions. I would have loved to ask Futaba's mother how far along she was with her research. Research, huh? She was looking into that cognitive science stuff, yeah? If we put together all the information we've gathered up, abuse of cognitive science can lead to death, and it may even relate to the psychotic breakdown incidents. Considering the cognitive aspect, I sense a strong connection between it and the metaverse. that the research might have been stolen and used by someone else you mean those guys that showed Futaba-chan the fake suicide note if that is the case those people are unforgivable hey Futaba is there anything else you can remember later she is quite difficult She just pretty much did the robot out of the room. That smell. Come on, no fair. Hey, can I snag a bite? Meanie. Why don't we take a short break? I've been thinking. 
Even if Futaba is a genius, could she really crush an international hacker organization that easily? The one who taunted the Phantom Thieves was a guy in Japan. I knew the Medjed members in Japan weren't anything special, so I wasn't worried. How do you know that? Because I'm the founder. Got us. Um, what do you mean? Should we take that literally? Yep, it was only me at first, back when I was referred to as the Hacker of Justice. But since I stayed anonymous, a bunch of guys from all over the world started using the name. And those were the ones committing cyber crimes. It was a hassle to expose all of them, so I just left them be. Uh, so Futaba was the true Medjed, and we were freaking out over some weak-ass dipshits? You should have told us from the start, Futaba. Wouldn't have helped her, probably. I discarded the Medjed name a while ago. I'm Alibaba now. Futaba, what do you want to do now? Since you know our secret, we'd like you to join our team. Okay. Just like that? This may even ensure our investigation of the mementos goes along smoothly. Well, I guess. Well, Futaba's real amazing. She's gonna be a big help for us, huh? Say, Futaba, how did you find out about us? Secret. Where did you learn to hack? Private. When did you obtain the nav? I refuse to answer. We know the answer to that. Tabachan sure is unique. The day that they delivered the calling card. Still, it'll be a problem if she doesn't open up to us some more. At the very least, we need to be able to communicate normally with her. What should we do? How? I'll First, take her on various fancy we need to help dates. her open up to us. If we each spend an entire day with her, maybe she'll get more used to being around us. I see. We do have the time thanks to summer vacation. We can begin tomorrow. Let's go to the beach. There'll be tons of people there. Plus, we got totally dried out in that desert. That's a great idea. I forgot I hadn't gone to the beach yet. Uh, excuse me. I'll come by tomorrow. See you then. Let me help as well. I don't have anything planned. Thanks. We can set a schedule with everyone else depending on when they're free. Okay! Is she gonna go can to the I beach really do that? this? Stress is the enemy of beauty, you know. How can I stay calm about this? I understand how you feel. Thanks to the incident with those hackers, people are calling us in and on top of all that, the Phantom Thieves are claiming justice is on their side. Don't make me laugh. Measured was dealt with by either the Phantom Thieves themselves or some avid supporter. There are no tracks whatsoever, so they must be quite skilled. Either way, the general public recognizes the Phantom Thieves as the subjugating party. They're gaining support and influence much faster than we could have anticipated. It is indeed an abnormal situation. I'm beginning to suspect mass manipulation of some kind. It's even possible that a powerful person is behind them, plotting the psychotic breakdowns. If only I had realized sooner. It's rare to hear you speak in that tone. For the sake of my justice, 
I won't forgive them. Can't quite sell if they're in a glass room there. The reflections kind of look like it. things will be from now on. You got a lot of cooks in the kitchen. people getting excited about this well the news really did draw a lot of attention I can't wait to see what happens I should write something Time right now? Sure, all right then. Our master would like a word with you. Stand up straight and listen closely, inmate. It seems you freed the heart of a frenzied girl and saved her from her haunted past. <laughs> Another step has been taken to rehabilitation. You are progressing quite nicely. Master bestows words of praise upon you. You'd better feel honored. By the by, more curious information has found its way to your ears. 
A scientist's research. It seems that world may secretly be known after all. Furthermore, that very research has been stolen and is now used by those with malicious intent. I wonder how this will change the approach you take toward your rehabilitation. <laughs> Allow me to grant you a new power worthy of your current self. We're just checking to make Though sure you that have I my aid, up any of Be the sure not to let your guard down. We shall meet again in the near yeah, future. I just, uh, I'm going through the game mostly blind, but I wanted to make Let sure go, I was still on pace for a catchy and uh, the counselor. And I am. Boom, look at that 60% approval rating. What is that supposed to be? Don't worry about it. Such avant-garde design. You have excellent taste. <laughs> Let's get started, shall we? Seems a little weird, huh? What do you plan on doing? I'd like to simply have a normal conversation. That is the basis of true communication, after all. Yes, you must be well-versed in speaking when you are student council president. Don't think too hard about our conversation. We're just going to talk about ordinary topics today. How is the weather? And what do you mean by ordinary topics? You know, things like food or the weather. Well then, let's begin with food. What do you like to eat, Futaba? Organic ones. Um, that wasn't exactly what I meant. Uh, let's try a different topic. How about the weather? She has not been I've outside heard today. that this heat wave is showing no sign of stopping. You know, I haven't been out. Oh. This is all very predictable. Right. Makoto's getting overwhelmed. Th this is odd. It, it wasn't supposed to go like this. By the way, Yusuke, what have you been doing this whole time? Oh, superb. Some of their heads came off when I was moving them, but I made sure to rearrange them pleasingly. to be quite shoddily made. They're from Phoenix Ranger's Neo Featherman! No, yellow and pink's heads, 
And Red's been hacked to bits! This is all Inari's fault! Inari? You know, Inari sushi, the tofu things foxes eat in the old stories? What kind of fox doesn't know that? Inari. Oh, they were in the perfect poses, too. It was so much work getting them set up just right. Uh, you wouldn't know aesthetics if it hit you in the face, Inari. Damn. Uh, how dare you say that to me, of all people? Sheesh, that's not a conversation anymore. It's a full-blown argument. Yeah. I see. So their versatility allows you to recreate almost any dramatic scene you can imagine. Mm hmm Victory is great for action, and Neo's got the best transforming suit. So cool. Fascinating. Art depicts a flash of inspiration, but models offer a much different means of enjoyment. Hmm? Take a look at that. Futaba's having a regular conversation. We got her. It seems she doesn't have a problem talking to others as long as the subject interests her. I suppose the topics I brought up were not the right ones. So this is all I gotta do? What a breeze! In that case, we should advance to the next step. How about we have her spend time in someone else's room? Yes! She hasn't had many chances to leave the house yet, so that would be the perfect opportunity. Don't set the bar so high! Let's give it a try. Oh, I can't stand this gung-ho way of doing things. I'd love tomorrow to on and Ryuji. He'll be there as well, so he'll be okay. Can I wear my mask? No. I think it would be best if you didn't. There's really no telling how tomorrow's going to go. Lady On and Ryuji teaming up honestly worries me. But I guess we'll see what they can do.
got a curry addiction. You got to help me, Shujiro. Something I should probably tell you. There is crack cocaine in this curry. Yeah. This is a LeBlanc. Ah, this is a LeBlanc curry, but it's not Sojiro's curry. I feel lied to this entire time. is on you. Come on. Got up that kindness. That's all she does is watch anime and sleep. Shocker. You seem surprisingly calm. I thought you'd be more panicked. There are no customers. Yo! We're here! Jesus. Sorry we're late. We were out buying stuff and I got a little caught up in what to get. So many snacks. What exactly do you plan on doing? Well, summer vacation's the time when you lounge around in your room all day. Yeah, and eating snacks is the best part of that. You're gonna get fat, you know. Uh, shut it! Hey, where's Futaba? You have done well in coming here. Futaba! <laughs> Shit freaked me out! Oh, hey, you Futaba? Yep, welcome. Why are you wearing that? Have it. Anyway, bring it. Not sure I get it, but let's do this. Sheesh, looks like today is going to be another noisy day. For real, it was freaking amazing. There were girls all over me. 
wait, you don't believe a word I'm saying, do you? Uh, it's you we're talking about here. There's no way you were ever a chick magnet. What was that? Agreed. As a member of the opposite sex, I sense no charm from you, Ryuji. Plus, popular guys wouldn't go bragging about that stuff to other people. <laughs> I keep wondering if I should do it while I'm still young. But the dresses show a lot of skin, right? Hey, are you even listening? There's no point talking about wedding dresses right now. None of us have significant others. Yep, I'm not getting married anytime soon. Can we please talk about something else? You know, Futaba's fine having conversations. Yeah, she doesn't have any trouble speaking her mind. Seems totally normal to me. I don't know what normal is. But if this is it, I'm happy. I totally thought you were gonna be some weirdo, but <laughs> I guess all that worrying was for nothing. Mm-hmm. I'm relieved too. I think things should keep going smoothly at this rate. By the way, what's on the agenda for tomorrow? How about we have her try helping around the cafe? That's perfect! It'll be good practice to have her up in front of strangers. Showing up in the shop at lunchtime will be like super crushing hard mode! You don't have to deal with customers if you don't want to. Maybe you could dry plates in the back. I'll be there too. I'd be mad if you weren't. Then it's all set. We'll be rooting for you, Futaba. Uh, you're all gonna pay for this someday. for another maid visit. <sighs> I look forward to it. Just so you know, churches do not uh, generally like you to play games on site.
is one haughty girl. Until next time. Do you want me to let Futaba help out around the shop? But I've never had her do anything like that before. Is she gonna be okay? What are we there for? This isn't the same as taking care of a cat, you know. D don't worry. I did graduate middle school last year. I'll be fine if I just think of this as my first summer job of high school. Well, in that case, uh, how about you wash the dishes? Just don't push yourself too hard, okay? Hey, are you alright? The usual boss, extra strong. Sure thing. Keep an eye on Futaba for me. She a new part-timer. Man, smooth as always. What number Bond girl is this, boss? It's not like that. You usually go for the older ones, right? It's only natural you'd want someone younger sometimes. It's like the Guatemala Peaberry coffee. Its acidic sweetness is akin to a breath of fresh air. Sorry, we're serving a blend today. Hey, snap out of it. Hurry up and bring him the coffee before it gets cold. <gasps> Yo, here's your coffee. Got him. When in the world did she... Hey, Futaba, haven't I told you not to show up in front of people with that damn thing on? And... And be more polite when you're bringing something to a customer. And here is your coffee, sir. Oh, thanks. Did you see? I did my job right! Keep that thing up. <laughs> but it uh, uh, protects me from the steam. <laughs> to think Futaba go out and talk to a customer herself. Mask aside, I'm impressed. Looks like people really can change. Want me to bring coffee to more customers? N mask off first. Mask oh, off. I'll think about it. Bigger. 
This crossword. All right. I see. Nice. I'm not gonna lie, I looked that one up. Did not know it was I looked. Let's help that out. Ah, thanks. Hey.
like the vehicle ready. So as soon as we're done with this social link. I'm going to uh have to call it. some time to do more tomorrow. We got a good uh, 10 in-game days or so done. Sorry. This for? No. Maybe next time. Why they catch you so mean to the Phantom Thieves? Today's the fourth day already. Getting a little better at dealing with other people? Uh, I don't know. Can't really tell. People cannot change their deep-seated habits that easily. Well, let's just say you've made some progress for now. I think they are making us wait like this. Hello. If 
Please excuse us. Apologies for the lateness. We were looking at multiple items and weren't sure which to choose. Looking? Looking at what? A swimsuit, of course, for Futaba-chan. A swimsuit? You don't have one, do you? No, but... Okay, let's have you try it on right now, then. You can't go to the beach if you don't have a good fitting swimsuit. We don't have much time left, you know. You try and look, right? Oh, wow, it's perfect! I'm amazed you were able to eyeball it with such accuracy on. I know, right? There we go! It's on! What the? This barely covers anything! That's normal for a swimsuit. Now, we just need to push these a little more this way. Are you supposed to move them with that much force? You gotta put some oomph into this stuff. <laughs> there. Good to go. Whoa, even I'm impressed. I wonder what they're doing up there. They're pushing all they're the parts together. Having her try on the swimsuit, right? What else could they be doing? Futaba in a swimsuit, hmm? I suspect that would make a great painting. Perhaps we should ask Makoto about it. Such a perfect. How rude! I speak from a purely artistic standpoint. Let it go, okay? We should just stay put. You guys are such children. What's with all the ruckus upstairs? Something about a swimsuit? Yeah, we're going to the beach pretty soon, so they're trying some swimsuits out. Futaba's going to the beach. <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever see her take that much interest in going outside again. Well then, it seems we're good to go with the swimsuit. All flattery aside, I think it looks really great. Now you just gotta get rid of those round shoulders. Come on, straighten out your back. We're right. She might be some trouble, but I hope she can make some great memories with you guys. And I guess we'll see her in a swimsuit in a future episode. Probably next time.
I should write something. Take a look at yeah, everything next time we get back. Thanks everybody who tuned in. Gotta go deal with car stuff. So have a good one. Bye.